Eight types of cancer are linked to alcohol use. Cancers of the mouth, the pharynx, larynx, esophagus, liver, colon, rectum, and female breast. Breast cancer accounted for the most common alcohol-related cancer among women, contributing to 15% of all breast cancer deaths. Alcohol, in fact, is the only dietary factor leading to an increased breast cancer risk. Among men, cancers of the mouth, pharynx, larynx, and esophagus accounted for most of their alcohol-linked cancer deaths. The risk isn't just for those with the disease of alcoholism. Alcoholics and social drinkers alike share the same cancer risk. When it comes to cancer, there is no safe level of alcohol use. Among the alcohol cancer links cited in these three books and coming from various studies were, first it's the number two cause for cancers of the pharynx, oral cavity, and larynx. Alcohol users are 1.6 times more likely to develop pancreatic cancer, the most fatal of cancers. An estimated 75% of esophageal cancers in the U.S. are attributable to alcohol consumption. And breast cancer risk increases 10% for every 10 grams of alcohol consumed daily. And that's about one drink. Women who consumed an even modest three to six glasses of wine per week were linked with a 15% increase. The increased risk of breast cancer for those who drink at least two drinks a day was 51 1% higher compared to abstainers. And finally, men who consumed an average of more than four drinks per day were 65% more likely to develop stomach cancer than abstainers. News reports in the August 15 uh, USA Today and several other news sources claim the cancer link is new. The first definitive links between alcohol and cancer go back to 1987, and the connection between alcohol use and breast cancer has been examined since the 1920s. It's been in all three of my books, predating the breaking news by five years. The toxin is listed by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services as a human carcinogen, and that's happened since 2000. According to two separate studies, only 25 to 35 percent of the public knows this fact. Maybe we just read what we want to read in the dead tree, and maybe, just maybe, for those who want to dodge the C word, alcoholic or not, sobriety is a better thing to have than to lack. I'm Scott Stevens. That's the Sobriety 60.